Okay guys, so today we are going to be talking about a couple exciting things. First, it's going to be this awesome backpack, and then we're going to get into something else. So, without any further ado, let's jump in. The replacement has arrived. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my new adventuring backpack, why I chose it, what it is, and how this is going to be more beneficial than the linchpin. Now, for a lot of you hardcore subscribers or original subscribers, you know that I ran the Camelback Lynchpin for about five years, and I honestly really love that backpack. It's an amazing backpack, and if you are a solo bushcrafter that's looking for a day pack or a pack to go out for a few days, like a three-day assault pack, the Lynchpin is extremely hard to beat. However, ever since I got married and my wife adventures with me, I've been noticing that it's very hard to pack our gear, such as a two-person sleeping bag, four-person tent, um, those types of things, in that backpack or around that backpack. It's nearly impossible to do. So I essentially outgrew that backpack and needed something that had better gear carrying, uh, loadout options, but also something that was quality because I went through and I looked at a lot of Osprey backpacks and Kelty backpacks and they're good backpacks. They had the size requirements and most of them had the load strap equipment that I required. Mm -hmm. However, my biggest issue with the Kelty and Ospreys is the moment you pick one up, like at REI or something, you can immediately tell that those are very recreationally oriented. They're very, uh, I don't know, I don't want to call them cheap per se, because they don't look necessarily cheap, but things like, um, so things like clips like these were half inch clips instead of these inch wide clips. And overall, I got to the point where I just kept looking at them and I didn't think I could trust the build quality on them. Now you guys have probably heard of Mystery Ranch. They're very familiar with, or you, if you are familiar, with firefighting equipment and you know firefighting scene as a whole. The Mystery Ranch makes really good backpacks for firefighters. However, they also make really good backpacks for um, the military. And that just so happens to be what this backpack is or designed for. So like I said, this is the Mystery Ranch Crew Cab. Now the reason why I got the Crew Cab is because of a few reasons. The biggest one is what I'm about to show you guys here. And if you take a look at this, what makes this backpack so unique is the fact that it has what Mystery Ranch calls an overload feature. So I'm going to pop a few of these, and as you guys can begin to see, the actual backpack part of this, this little sack here, actually opens up, and you get these two kind of canisters, if you will, or uh, compartments, whatever you want to call them. And these flip out, and that exposes a huge area where you can actually load tents, sleeping bags, wool blankets, whatever you need, you can throw in this huge area. And then once you have it loaded down, you can just take this and strap it back in and have that huge load right here. And still have your full backpack here, everything that you would normally carry in here or on these, si these little uh, cells is what they call them. Mystery Ranch calls these cells, but these little load cells and you can have them you know, fully loaded up and this fully loaded up, so you're not losing any functional capacity from your backpack side of things, but you get this gigantic area to work with and strap stuff on. And to make things better, because Mystery Ranch must have known my heart when they made this backpack, you can also strap things to the bottom of this, as you guys can see, and there's actually rigging that comes from the bottom. Actually, these are sewn in onto the frame of the backpack, which we'll get to in a moment, and they actually come all the way up to the top and hook into these. So, or they hook into actually these right here. So these actually will allow you to strap stuff to the bottom of your backpack very easily. So this backpack is designed to carry not just a little bit, but a lot of stuff. So essentially, uh, just speaking about the backpack's carrying capacity without the overload feature, this is a 26 liter backpack, which isn't on the outside overly impressive, but when you add the fact that you can throw this much stuff into the middle of it, th that easily doubles its working liter capacity. 
maybe even triples it because like I said you can throw huge amounts of gear into here and what I love about this uh, carrying here or the overload feature is it also allows for not every time are you going to carry a lot of stuff but as I've tried to roll, in, roll into some pictures I've actually been using this a lot for fishing here of lately and what I love is I can throw my full-size tackle box right into this area where normally that would have been too large or weird angled of a object to carry realistically on a backpack I can just take that throw it right in here have the tackle box here have my load out for camping here and here and here and just go out and go fishing so it's a really awesome overload feature that they made and if you guys know mystery ranch at all uh, this is a military backpack and it is just built like none other this thing the primary reason I wanted to go with it, aside from the overload feature, is that Mystery Ranch makes their backpacks tough as hell. And this thing, you just you can tell immediately from the materials that they use to the zippers to everything on this that it is just a pack that you can thrash on and beat the crap out of, and it's going to keep going. And that's what I really love about the crew cab. Going back to the loading, and I'm gonna roll this in on secondary footage, but what's really neat is the fact that these buckles here, they don't function just like a normal buckle. They act, well, they do in a way, but they function a little bit better because they actually are only one way adjustable with this little walking latch. So when you do carry a really heavy, really large, really weird load that's trying to burst out of the overload feature, what's nice is once you lock it in, it's actually forced to stay there because there's these little locking tabs on each and every one of these uh, little buckles has these locking tabs and those lock the whole load into place. So it's a really, really hardcore setup. So now I'm gonna turn this thing around and show you guys the other reason I got it. So if that wasn't enough, we look at the front or the end that you'll be wearing, or this is the strap side of it, this is what you strap into. And to start off, the reason why, or the few of the other reasons why I picked it is because, like I said, this is a serious backpack made for serious people. And this waist belt has over inch thick padding on the waist belt all around it, not just on these little flaps here, but on this back here also has an inch thick of foam. So that was another thing that off put me from a lot of these Osprey backpacks and Kelties is they really cheaped out on waist belt material and they were not that comfortable. The other thing I like is they added some pals or molly webbing to the sides of these waist packet or waist pouch or pouches, these waist straps so you can throw little pouches like this one onto it. In fact, I can actually run my PSK on this pouch or on this of uh, the sides of these waists so if I need to quickly get to anything in my PSK, I can just open it right there and use it. For now, I just have this small pouch there, but essentially the same concept. In addition to that, going back to the inch, inches of foaming, or foaming, foam, is these two bars right here. Now these were originally made for body armor to help support the body armor, but they also help support your back. Now the last part that I love about this backpack is going to be really difficult to show you guys, but it's built on the nice frame. And the nice frame is probably the third seller for me on this because especially after packing out, loading this thing up with 40 pounds of gear, and then you throw that nice frame on and this backpack is sitting there, honestly the frame, the nice frame does such a good job at distributing load, it barely feels like you're actually carrying a backpack. It doesn't subtract so much from the weight of it, you can still tell that you're carrying 40 pounds. But it feels like you're carrying more than a 40 pound backpack it feels like you're carrying like a 35 pound frame because it does such a good job at uh, holding your weight or holding the weight of the backpack so rigidly but it also a part of that rigidness allows it to transfer that weight all across your body so you don't have 40 pounds just on your shoulders you actually have 40 pounds on your shoulders on your back your upper back your lower back so it distributes the weight extremely evenly and not to mention it's also built really solid i mean this freaking frame is not going anywhere but what i do like that mystery ranch did is they built the stays which there are six stays three going this way 
or horizontally and three going vertically and they built them out of carbon fiber so it's still being for a fully external frame backpack it still is quite light so anyways guys definitely check these products out definitely check this mystery ranch pack out no i'm not sponsored i did really buy this with 400 dollars of my own hard-earned money and it was definitely not easy to spend that much money on the pack but i did buy it fully out and out mystery ranch has no idea i'm doing this video at all so anyways guys that's all for now god bless and i'm out